بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم وی ول کنٹینیو ڈیپ سروائیکل فیشل اسپیس انفیکشن وی ہیو فنشڈ لیٹرل فیرنجیل اسپیس انفیکشن ان اور پریویس ویڈیو اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول گو تھرو دا ریمیننگ ڈیپ نیک اسپیس انفیکشن دیٹ از ریٹرو فیرنجیل ڈینجر اسپیس پری ورٹیبرل اسپیس بیفور وی ڈسکس ادر ڈیپ نیک اسپیس وی مسٹ نو فیو بیسک تھنگس اباؤٹ سروائیکل فیشا This uh, flow chart shows classification and hierarchy of facial layers of the face and neck. Uh, here we are uh, mainly concerned uh, with the deep layer. However, buccopharyngeal fascia, that is the uh, muscular part of the middle layer and the alar and uh, pre-vertebral layers are the part of the deep layer. Now, this is the buccopharyngeal fascia. alar fascia and this one is the uh, prevertebral fascia similarly uh, we have three spaces that is the retropharyngeal space danger space and prevertebral space now we will define these spaces uh, first note the superior constrictor muscle buccopharyngeal fascia and the uh, alar fascia between buccopharyngeal fascia and the alar fascia there is a retropharyngeal space next is prevertebral fascia between the alar fascia and prevertebral fascia there is a danger space last is the prevertebral space that is behind the prevertebral fascia here you can see the buccopharyngeal fascia next is the alar fascia and the posterior one is the prevertebral fascia between the buccopharyngeal fascia and the alar fascia there is a retropharyngeal space and between the alar fascia and the prevertebral fascia there is a danger space this is the closer view the retropharyngeal space is located behind the posterior pharyngeal wall uh, the interior boundary of this space is formed by the superior middle and inferior pharyngeal constrictor muscles and the uh, retropharyngeal or uh, buccopharyngeal fascia uh, and the posterior boundary is the alar fascia retropharyngeal space uh, contains loose areolar connective tissue and lymph nodes and may easily become involved by infections uh, due to extension from the lateral pharyngeal space the superior boundary is uh, formed by the uh, base of the skull where is the most caudal boundary is pointed usually uh, located between the sixth and uh, sixth cervical and fourth thoracic vertebrae and this caudal uh, boundary is where the alar fascia fuses interiorly with the uh, buccopharyngeal fascia the signs and uh, symptoms of retropharyngeal space infections include sore throat fever neck stiffness and strider The retropharyngeal space contains loose uh, connective tissues uh, and lymph nodes and may easily become involved by infection due to extension from the lateral pharyngeal space as pointed earlier uh, it provide a uh, little barrier uh, or resistance to the uh, spread of the infection from one lateral pharyngeal space to the other lateral pharyngeal space to encircle this uh, airway the normal retropharyngeal soft tissue shadow uh, is narrow is about 6 mm or less at c2 level and 20 mm or less at c6 on plain radiographic film when the retropharyngeal space is infected the soft tissue become substantially thicker and uh, the width of the oropharyngeal uh, airway shadow uh, decreases a similar view the danger space uh, lies between the alar fascia anteriorly uh, and prevertebral fascia uh, posteriorly extends from the base of the skull to the diaphragm infections from a retropharyngeal space can rupture the alar fascia in posteriorly when this occurs the infection can spread caudally and posteriorly to the danger space the borders of the danger space are the alar fascia anteriorly and prevertebral fascia posteriorly the superior border of the danger space is the skull and the inferior boundary is the diaphragm
the posterior mediastinum uh, lies anterior to its lower part infection may spread to uh, the prevertebral space and mediastinum the prevertebral space is rarely involved with odontogenic infections due to the tight adherence of the prevertebral fascia with the vertebrae a rare instance of a prevertebral space infection may occur with osteomyelitis of the vertebral bone the mediastinum is a large cavity located between the lungs and uh, containing the heart phrenic nerve vagus nerve trachea main stem bronchi esophagus and the great vessels uh, that is aorta and superior and inferior vena cava infections may progress to involve the mediastinum mediastinitis and clinically this will present with a critically ill appearance due to the compression of the heart and lungs due to a possible neural compression the neurologic uh, innervation that is vagus nerve of the cardiovascular and respiratory systems may be uh, interrupted and the esophagus lungs and the lower airway may rupture causing immediate life threatening events despite immediate cardiothoracic surgical intervention the mortality of mediastinitis remains high thank you wish you best of luck